when it comes to this, it just seems like what they're mad about is that there's a moral to the story. Okay. There's a moral to the story and they could recognize the moral to the story. It's a little bit of a played out moral to the story when it comes to some of those side missions, like judging someone by the color of their skin or something. Right. And you can say that's a little bit played out, but they wouldn't be that hard on this type of stuff if it was just, well, this is played out a little bit. He's like, they're trying to influence my ideas. All of the games that you brought out that, that you talked about were trying to influence your ideas in some way. All of them had a moral to the story in some way. So what's your problem? Have you guys heard about this drama going on right now? It's basically about a bunch of a bunch of guys. They call themselves gamers. Gamers. They're really upset at this new consulting company. Well, there, there's a new upset outrage going on about this consulting company. It's called Sweet Baby Inc., right? There's way too many sweet baby companies out there and people naming themselves Sweet Baby. It's just it's just way too much. I'll be so honest with you. It's just way too much. and I'm not a fan. But anyways, this Sweet Baby company, they're a diversity consulting firm. And I think you can already understand where we're going with this. They basically talk companies hire them to be like, hey, should I call the, a black person the N word in my game? And they go, no. No, they're like, hey, I got a deaf person in my game. How, how do you do sign language? And they're like, ah, you do it like this. That's basically how it goes. Gamers got really upset about this because what they think happens is that they turn the game woke, woke and evil and anti-white. And it's destroying video games. It's destroying the entire video game industry because woke, evil, progressive messaging is destroying games and smothering out the lifeblood of what makes gaming real gamers. Okay. And it's, and it's a sick, bad thing to do. I think all of this is really stupid. I only caught wind of it just a little while ago. Cause I, it just, it popped up on my timeline for a very funny reason, but I'll tell you about that in a little bit. I want to take a look at, I want to take a look at some of the things going on right now. And I think probably the best way to do it is, is, is to go over this article right here from, from the gamer. Cause I actually think this is a pretty good, decent article. This is your first time hearing about Sweet Baby Inc. Congratulations on your well-curated internet experience. Hey, that's me. Mine is clearly in dire need of pruning, as I have uh, heard about this all week. In short, Sweet Baby Inc. is a narrative consultancy firm. It means if developers are stuck in a narrative hitch, they call on outside experts to help. It might be that characters uh, feel dull or there's no reason provided in the story for why they do the thing that they definitely need to do for the script to make sense. These firms help with character writing and the overall plot, but they might help with world building elements themselves. All right. So there are a bunch of games that this company, Sweet Baby Inc. worked on. Some of them you might not heard of. Some of them you might have heard of. Right. Um, some of the games that you might have heard of was Spider-Man 2. One of the games you may you may have heard of it, Alan Wake 2. Uh, they worked on another game um, of the woke disaster of um, uh, what's it called? It, um, uh, God of War Ragnarok. Yeah, that, that game totally failed. Huge flop, totally failed. Giga L, right? Uh, they worked on a game that I've been watching for a while, but I didn't but I didn't pick up Sable uh, as well as kind of like a op open open world sandbox adventure st type game. We're going to talk about that one here in just a little bit. God of War so woke. Yep. Well, there's black people in it, and that's like a cardinal sin. Like when when I was playing as the like six foot tall, jacked black Roman soldier guy who made a deal with the um, Roman god Ares to become the new god of war and accidentally killed his whole family and had their ashes magically attached to his skin and then goes around the world and then went to kill the Olympians in Mount Olympus and then around the world and then ended up in the realm of the Norse gods fighting for his um, son, who is like a really important guy, but also just like his baby. And he learns about being a good father all the way while fighting harpies and demons and in orcs and elves and undeads while being assisted by two bickering small boys and a really angry fat man with a magical hammer made out of a star or something. Thing. And I was like really engrossed in the reality of it. But then I saw a damn black person and it kind of like threw it all away for me. And so like this sweet baby company has they, they've like got it. They got to stop, man. 
<laughs> they they can't keep doing this, man. They gotta stop. Holy shit, they gotta stop. Yeah, it's like it's pretty bad. It's it's starting to get pretty bad. Game. I don't know if gaming's ever gonna recover from how bad things are getting right now. Um, uh, this firm might be brought in near. Sorry, this firm might be brought in near the start when the story is just scraps of paper pinned to a corkboard, or they arrive late. Uh, sorry, late in the day. Uh, most of the when most of the game is set in stone, but actors have yet to record their lines on any or any time in between. What is the most crucial is that they make suggestions. They don't take over development and throw out what the devs have in favor of their own agenda. They are they are asked, how do we make this better? And they respond, what about this? Personally speaking, I'm not sure how I feel about all this. It's it feels a little too close to design by committee for my liking, moving away from video game as being a result of the artistic efforts of a specific few who share a vision into um, who share a vision into an amorphous team of a thousand each applying a single brush stroke all over the painting. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can feel like that. But if that's the case, then like, don't just play. Just don't play big games. You don't have, you don't have to do that. I, fe- I personally think it's like really cool that games can now be as serious as to have an industry where many industries can pop up because of it. I personally think that's really sick. The gaming has gotten so big these days that we can now have industries that are ancillary to the to the industry itself that leads to like more jobs, more opportunity, more more things that can happen. And because at the end of the day, like games are art and they're made from people and people have flaws and people have like, you know, gaps in their knowledge and if people can have somebody to help them with that type of stuff, help like shore up some of those holes where they where they don't. That's literally the point of diversity, right? And I think that's really cool. And I I I personally think that's really sick. Okay, so I I think this is great, but you know, um, that's just me. When it, when it comes to Sweet Baby Ink specifically, we don't know exactly what they did, and we don't know exactly what they do in the games that they worked on. They're just games that they called in for consultancy on some specific things. We can assume some things that they were called on, but that kind of like. That that kind of like gets into whether you're a weirdo conspiracy theorist that thinks that like black people or women or whatever or gay people wouldn't exist in these games as long as Sweet Baby Ink didn't um, put their grubby little paws, grubby little homo sex paws all over it. I'm personally of the belief that all these things were there and they just called them in to help them with this type with with this type of stuff, which I think is super cool. I mean, in Spider Man, there's a really cool scene, and some of you know it, some of you don't, where um where Miles actually speaks to this uh, deaf girl with uh, American Sign Language. And do you think your average no-name, like your, your average no-name, just whatever type guy could put together a realistic, convincing, and genuinely impactful scene where a deaf person is, where, where two people are conversing in sign language in a natural way without no, without being deaf, having having a deaf person in their community or like, or, or like family or anything? Do you think they could do that? Probably not. I mean, maybe you can Google some stuff about it, but it probably wouldn't be as good as like asking somebody who knows something about deaf people. Oh, geez. Sorry. But it probably wouldn't be as good as asking somebody who knows something about deaf people actually help you with that scene. It was very, it was really nice. Yeah, here we go. (laughs) Don't worry about it. Would have been harmed or killed if not for the intervention of Spider Man, New York's second hero to go by that name. It's my home, too. So, yeah, they have like a whole, they have like a little conversation like that. It was really widely heralded. It's just like a, a, a great moment in this game that you just don't get with, you don't, you just don't get without like a decent amount of diversity in the development studio you can't make something like the asl for woke goes here that's true that's true woke yeah woke and cringe and gay even it's kind of gay i saw i saw the some of these anti-woke gamers genuinely making fun of that scene like like clowning on it as being like cringe and stupid that why the fuck would you even have a deaf person why would a deaf person be in one of the largest cities in in the entire world we hate that right this is genuinely stuff that happens and it's and it's kind of sad anyways this sweet baby company was was thrust into the limelight a little while ago while the massive attack against like woke like uh um like sensitivity readers and all this type of stuff like sort of like drama 
anti-woke content is going on right now, where, where it's like really big, where people are attacking this type of stuff. Because anybody who's seen as going against the the anti-woke agenda is like this massive enemy who needs to be taken down. They've basically said that they worked on some of these games and that's just kind of it. Then there was a guy who made a Steam curator page that looked at the games that they said that they worked on and then made a curator page that's called uh, Sweet Baby Inc. Detected, saying that they inject woke and evil and cringe into video games and you shouldn't and you shouldn't play them. Right. The dev came out. One of, one of us. Sorry. One of the people who works at Sweet Baby Inc. came out and was like, yo, and, and tweeted, yo, Steam, you should do something about this. They're they're like harassing us. And I think this is against TOS for them to for them to like make stuff like this, specifically, specifically going after our company and the games that we worked on. Right. Uh, and this led to a massive, massive massive avalanche, right? This dev or whatever, this this person, this employee for Sweet Baby Inc. did the worst thing imaginable, okay? And it's a little thing we call feeding the trolls. When you give the trolls exactly what you want, when you let them know that you care or that you're actually looking at something that what they're doing, then they have even more reason to hate you. Every time you speak up, you're going to they're, you're going to invent more reasons for them to hate you. Okay, there's nothing that you can say or do out of this. More likely than not, then this would have like that th this would have like gone away, or or if it didn't, they'd have less reasons to be as insane. Not saying it's their fault necessarily for all this happening, but it's the fault of the people acting weird. But at the end of the day, that's what's going on. Okay, I want to pull up this this thing. Let me see. I can't pull up the entire the entire thing because they've now locked their account. The person who works at Sweet Baby Inc. has now completely locked their account down and you can't you can't see anything about it. Can't see anything at all. Uh, but they did write this specifically, and it's so bad that all the screenshots about this are it's just so you know, you know, when a meme gets passed around so much and people just keep tweeting like um sending it and downloading it and sending it again screen capping it over and over again that the quality turns into absolute garbage this is what happened with this screenshot it's this bad okay most of this is un is, is illegible but we'll read the top bit the steam curator harassment group sweet baby ink detected is led by this person th this person here here's them trying to be slick so they don't get reported even with the discriminatory language uh uh, filed off, the group itself uh, still fails the code of conduct, right? And they're basically saying they failed, they failed the code of conduct and everything, all this type of stuff, right? Right. I'd like to see the rest of the screenshot if possible, but it's been passed around so much. I'm not sure if it's even possible. I can't even, yeah, I can't even read some of this. I can't read any of this actually. I guess uh, people are saying that this person docks this person. I'm I'm not sure if they did. I, I I don't I don't have any information to prove that they doxed them. It seems like they just took a screenshot of their name and, and their and their curator page and just looked up what and looked up if they use the same name on Twitter. It seems like they did, and the email exchange that they had that that they got their email right. That seems that basically seems to be it. They went on to say anyway. They went on to say anyways. Report the out of this group and report the creator since he loves his account so much this this is some this is one of the biggest troll feedings i've seen in my entire life like they're the trolls are they're gorging themselves okay this is crazy troll feeding i'm gonna be really honest with you i'm gonna be really honest with you if you wanted this dealt with and you think it's that bad take it to steam directly you could just shoot them an email. I know you have the ability to shoot them an email. I know you have some connection at Steam, some like in some way. Just being, just telling people to mass report this group out of nowhere, especially when you're a diversity firm in this type of environment. That's specifically that in this type of environment where there's a where there's like a significant, I think minority, but uh, sig uh, significantly loud portion of like the gamer community that specifically is against diversity and wokeness and progressive messaging in video games uh that you that you should have had the understanding that this is what this was going to lead to and if you didn't you kind of kind of you kind of just f up here i don't even know if they were actually breaking any any rules right they were i'm not sure if they were actually breaking breaking any rules i didn't see any of that okay so so i'm not sure this guy is a pussy wait let's see 
I would like to ask everyone who really cares about what's going on uh, to stop harassing other people. If you feel aware of articles, but bear in mind, this is not the way to solve anything. Ask many questions, support the cause, spread the word by any means. Do not harass anyone. We do not fight harassment or more harassment. Don't stoop down to their level. Based. Okay. All right, then. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, they she didn't, she didn't dox him. They have his. They have their email in their. <laughs> they have their email in their. In their account. Okay. They have their email in their account. Yeah. Sure. Sounds about right. I would like to. I want to before we hop into everything. Anything else? I want to take a look at because you know that you know that uh, that streamer. What the f is his name? Asmin. Asmin Gold talked to this guy apparently. So basically, Sleep Baby is a company, their job is effectively to go into different games and do diversity and inclusion sensitivity reading to make sure that different games aren't doing something that could be portrayed or seen as racist or problematic by different people in the community, right? Basically, that's what they do. That is their job. That is their purpose. And, um... Lol, sounds woke as fuck. Woke company, yikes. Okay. <laughs> Don't do... We help companies not accidentally put something racist in their game. Whoa, ew. Yikes. I'm going to tell you this right now. If a game came out and it was just actually just kill white, <laughs> kill whitey, <laughs> um, uh, kill whitey, bathe in cockazoid blood. And that's, and that's what the game was or something. These people would be like, wait a second. This isn't funny. This isn't, this isn't funny. Person who made this group was then they tried to actually cancel the person who made the group and there was an employee at Sweet Baby who wanted everybody to not only mass report and remove this group from Steam, but also ban the man that made it. So it, it's not enough to just remove the group, but it's actually they want to punish the person who made it. And so that's the guy I talked about. That is happening. It's, mm -hmm. it's crazy, but I'm, I'm not going to lie, man. I, I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, what, what gave you the idea? Actually, you know what? Before I ask you that, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself, kind of like what you're about, like where, where you learned about all this stuff, you know, like your background, et cetera, just so people can get an idea. Have any interest in playing it? But I noticed that things were different with creators and I mean, the, the game franchise itself, you know? So I did a little bit of, of research because I was like, mm, what, what is causing this? Why is this game like this? You know? Yeah. And then I came up, I don't remember exactly what I found at the beginning, but then I, I remember, I do remember that I ended up um, on, you know, that the company is, I mean, Sweet Baby Inc. website, you know? So you went and to the I, Sweet Baby uh, website, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. And then I saw the game uh, over there. I mean, because if you if you get into their website like right now, you can see that they have some kind of portfolio, right? Sure. And then they just um, they have uh, those small pictures uh, of every game that not not every single game, but I mean a lot of lot of projects that they have worked on or they are currently working on. Mm -hmm. And then if you uh, mouse over um, on on those images, you can see what kind of work they did in those games. So this is how I found about it. And, I and see when that. I saw, yes. yeah, yeah, and when I saw. Um, the other games in the list you know and then i started noticing a pattern you know like hmm so this is like this and in in the other game something else it was like for example so you um, noticed a pattern is that what you're saying yeah i mean if you play pay attention to those let's let's say um woke products okay mm -hmm. let me just call sure. them that way uh they have some kind of pattern you know um they have some kind of you know virtual singly stuff and they have some like um extremely diverse cast and all this kind of stuff and then i was like okay so maybe these guys are related to it and then um yeah so that's how it's over there yeah okay and you're from uh, i know some people in the chat were asking you're from brazil right? what, what oh, yeah, pattern yeah. um what pattern uh minorities <laughs> some kind of pattern minorities that that's i mean that's a lot of pe these types of people are going to be like, oh, you're you're straw manning everybody. He literally he just said it. He was like, oh, they have a diverse cast. One of the things one of the markers that he was looking for was a diverse cast of characters. Bro was he was looking for minorities to see. <laughs> and the more minorities, the more woke it is. Wokeness is when you have minorities and women. The more minorities and women, the more woke it is. And when it's full blown woke. There's no white people. It's New York. That is true. It is New York City, New York. Hey, man, there's too many. There's too many women in New York, man. These people will say they aren't racist. They will. They will. They'll keep saying it. Yeah. And so there was a big conversation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There. But the thing is, they like, I want them to go more in depth into it because a lot of these guys just don't really go that deep in depth into it unless they. OK, here's here's my thing. OK, the thing that I think is the funniest thing about this is that. These people don't usually go that in depth into what exactly they're talking about. When they say stuff like this, they're like, oh, there's a pattern, there's things, you know, and there's everybody so sensitive. Well, come out. I want you to come out and say exactly what, what the exactly 
what the problem is. I want you to point to this, this, and this. Show me the link to wokeness or whatever it is, and then tell me why it's bad. That's what I want to know. When I hear a lot of these people, the only thing I'm really hearing from them, like said previously, previously, is there's a diverse cast, and there's some wokeness in there. What I, what other wokeness is there? I don't know. Because the original use of the word woke is to be understanding and to be cognizant of discrimination minorities face in society. And so what and so just like the classical definition of wokeness or what they would mean here would be like they touch on real world issues like racism and sexism and homophobia. Right. That in the game just touches on those things. Right. And so. That's what I that's what I hear when, when I hear somebody say something about like wokeness or whatever. It's just a way to be like, you 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 have something to say about oppression in society or like discrimination. Okay. You have something to say about you you think that racism is bad and you say it in in and you say it in a way that they don't like, right? You don't say it in like a dispassionate, yeah, I guess racism is like, who cares, dude? It's bad, but like who cares? If you're like, no, but I actually think that it's bad and it should stop. Once you start being too passionate about it, then then it becomes woke and cringe, right? Especially when I see it when places I don't want to see it, okay? Then it's super woke and evil, and it's in my face, and it's down my throat right now. And get out of my throat. Oh, my throat. But anyways, I don't know. Let's see if he uh, let's see if he is, um, says anything more. Oh, you know what? I want to search one word. I want to search racism. I want to see. I just want to see. And they say that they're fighting racism. What is this? Oh shit, he got DC'd. Yeah, I was wondering, because he talked a lot. What's what? The ones that are more racist than any of us. Bro, bro, this is this is a racist thing to say. It's not even a question. Like, what the f yeah, what It's unbelievable. He? And it's also... It's... Opinion, ...insane. Especially whenever... If you read... It was this. Pay me to shoot down your white male lead game ideas. I usually get grossed out when... When straight, uh, when straight white rich people kiss, but even I think those are pretty cute. Before. Uh, I just thought about uh, trying this again with a photo of a young white person about to get ripped open, but I'm betting folks would immediately flag it as traumatic, and I'm guessing the image would get taken down before <laughs> responses accumulated. <laughs> gargling that, <laughs> gargling that woke, it's in my throat. Yeah, this person's kind of crazy. I had a nightmare that I was a white male gamer. Okay, but that one was kind of funny. That This one's... The other one's a little crazy. This one's kind of funny. This one's kind of funny. Yo, whatever happened to dark humor? Whatever happened to dark humor? That is dark humor dead now? I don't know, man. Everybody's always thought all these types of people are always talking about how sensitivity is such a, a massive issue. Okay. I'm just saying if they're going to be consistent, then this would, then this would just be dark humor. I think this one's kind of crazy. I, I think, I think these posts are a little, I think these posts are a little much, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I see stuff like this on Twitter literally every single day, and a lot of people defending it as dark humor. Where's the was the dark humor? Well, wherever is dark humor is dark humor done now? It's just like that meme that was getting passed around a lot. Like oh, the, the dark humor enjoyer, look inside racism. Okay, I think I think that's kind of true. All right, I think a lot of dark humor is just kind of bigotry, right? But with like a tee hee ha ha funny coat. And that's that's what I personally think. It, is it the same for this? R the racism with a hee hee ha ha coat, right? Okay, let's. How how often is woke used in here? Woke, 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 woke. Give me the woke. I want the woke. There's woke. Regulation of like bad behavior in the I guess like more like leftist woke community. What is this? Is really what the issue is is that. It's bad because it defends things that are indefensible and it doesn't focus mm -hmm. on what the actual like actual diversity and because there's no regulation of like bad behavior in the I guess like more like leftist woke community stuff like this kind of happens and you see people running defense for it and it's like you don't need to run defense for this at all like this is really bad in the same way that like if there's a conservative person that does something really bad like a lot of conservative people don't need to run defense for them either there's bad actors but it's basically like these movements and these groups get co-opted by these bad actors and then the movements and groups don't know how to like accurately remove them. It's like they just keep defending bad behavior, and it's gotten to a point now where people are literally defending shoplifting. Uh, they don't want to have police officers and, and stuff like this. It's crazy. Yeah. What does this have to do with anything? Some people defend shoplifters. I don't know, man. I don't know, man, when corporations are stealing our money 
and people are struggling. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'd care more about companies lowering their prices than someone shoplifting. I'm not gonna condone someone shoplifting, but it's not my. There's there are bigger problems in the world than shoplifting. I'm gonna be honest with you. What a sentence. Are doing some missions in that game. Uh, they mentioned the, poli the police, you know, like police are bad guys. And they even mentioned some political movements. I don't know if I can talk about it here, but wow, well, they even mentioned um, political movements uh, related to, let's say, minorities, you know, like mm -hmm. the Myers Morales uh, DLC. Uh, but it's not a bad thing itself. It's just the way they do it, you know. Uh, for example, Gears of War is one of my favorite game franchises ever. And Halo, Halo is, is my favorite gaming franchise ever. And bro, fuck I just yeah. love Sergeant Johnson. Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I know, I know, like, yeah. He was one of my favorite characters, character, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and I, I mean, I mean, I think I, I'm even whiter than you, but I love the guy, and he's black, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. So yeah, but I mean, and and do you know anyone that complained about that character being black? No, I never heard anybody no. complain about that. I'm pretty sure if they put him in the show, people would complain if he wasn't. Of course, man. Like, oh man, like, like, don't, don't even get me started on the Halo show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -uh. Anyway, uh, Gears of War, for example, my favorite character, I think it's Cole, and he's, mm -hmm. you know, you remember Cole, like that big black ex -fo ex football player guy from Gears of War. I don't know if you remember, but anyway, Gears of War is a pretty diverse. Um, game you know you have like call train yes 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 call train yes Holy yes, fuck. Exactly. yes i oh, forgot all about that yeah man like for example you have dom who's uh, -huh. uh i think he's like latino latino yeah dom Mexican. dom was everybody's favorite character right or a lot of people's favorite character people are really yeah. really fans of him yeah people love the guy you know then you got mm -hmm. um marcus fan who's the yeah. average white male american guy i yep. mean he's fine i like him mm -hmm. but anyway um those are just two examples of two of my favorite game franchises right um that you know i mean they are pretty diverse yeah and they have like pretty much every kind of people on them and they are not bad games people actually love them mm -hmm. so yeah diversity isn't a bad thing uh it's uh you know the way they do it's, it's basically this you know so it's like it's basically the way that it's told and it's being told in a heavy-handed and like patronizing way it's like they're talking down to you i guess yeah bro they try mm -hmm. they try to re-educate you you know they try to influence your the way the way you view the world they try to influence your opinions and i mean probably they think that okay so those i mean in brazil or those other countries they, those people they want they want you know they want uh notice that but we do man we have we have lots of what um, uh, this is okay. Yeah, a lot of these people they do the like in these type of discussions. A lot of these people do the I have a black friend thing, where they're like, "Dude, I, I don't hate, I don't hate diversity, dude. I don't. I promise, I don't hate diversity, dude. I like this black character in the game. He was like, ooh, yeah. He was like, yeah, hell yeah. And I was like, I do, I like that. I like that game. It was, he was such a cool game. He was such a cool character, right? But then these, these new, these new ones, these new ones are just all bad. I personally think it's just a little ridiculous if I'm going to just be completely honest with you. I watched a lot of the uh, the, the, the Insomniac Spider-Man games. I haven't bought them yet. I just didn't have the money to be picking up $60 Insomniac games <laughs> recently. If I'm going to be spending my money, I, I right now I'm spending it on a lot of indie games. And a lot of indie games have a lot of um, like woke ideology in them or whatever because uh, they're just made by like normal people. Creatives usually usually tend to be a little bit more left wing. Um anyways right but i don't know i always when, when it comes to this it just seems like what they're mad about is that there's a moral to the story okay there's a moral to the story and they could recognize the moral to the story it's a little bit of a played out moral to the story when it comes to some of those side missions like judging someone by the color of their skin or something right and you can say that's a little bit played out but they wouldn't be that hard on this type of stuff if it was just well this is played out a little bit. He's like, they're trying to influence my ideas. All of the games that you brought out that, that you talked about were trying to influence your ideas in some way. All of them had a moral to the story in some way. So what's your problem? Literally, all of them had a moral to the story in some way. They, they literally all did. OK, they all did. They all did. It just seems like what they don't like is talking is um is having a mold to the story when they talk about issues that are really that are really pertinent to today specifically, like like games that are modern and pertinent and in 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 the time that they were released, which is super weird because every game is like that. It just talk just they talked about issues that were pertinent to them in those older games. They talk about issues that are pertinent to us in these games. Obviously, obviously in a city as big as New York. Right. If you're trying to make it real and you're going to try and make an interesting touching on race or something that has been a large issue in New York for 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 as long as the city's been existed in in like a, in a super in a superhero game where you're going to have to like deal with people and, and, and like solve issues where people are like really far apart. Yeah, that sounds pretty interesting. That could be that could be pretty interesting. I just never under I just really don't understand a lot of these complaints. I don't know. Listen, if there's like an anti wokeite 
out there who wants to come on and explain to me what the hell this means, then I'll then I'll 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 I'll, I'll love to have you on to talk about it. But at this moment in time, after looking at probably hundreds, tens of videos um, of, of like people who are anti woke, hundreds of tweets, I just don't get they I just don't I just don't get it. I don't get what their what their what their problem is. I feel like there's something in there that that they think is their real problem that they're that I'm just not getting at. There's something. All games are woke. Only play COD. No, COD's woke, too, because you can put the pride flag on your AR. Everything's woke, dude. And we're going to die in wokeness. We're going to perish in wokeness, dude. It makes me sick. Exactly. They only play one game. A lot of them only play. I will say a lot of them only play one game. And a lot of them, I really don't think they necess necessarily care that much about it. But a harassment campaign did absolutely start on some of these games, okay? I want to bring something to you. There's a little game that I've been watching for a while. I know the dev. I know the dev. And I didn't actually buy the game until I heard what, what these types of people, what these anti-woke gamers were doing. I went out and bought the game instantly the second I, 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 I saw what was happening. But... They've now started going on Sweet Baby's website and then review bombing the games that they worked on. So one of one of the games is Sable. So here's Steam summary show graph. Here we go. You see that right here out of all through Sable's out of all through Sable's lifetime. All right. One, two, three. This is just like recently in the last couple of months. Three negative reviews. Here's two. Here's one. Here's two and then boom, eight. What happened here? Sweet baby ink detected. A game felt wrong and now I know why. 0.2 hours on record, just so you know. Sweet baby ink detected. 0.8 hours, just so you know. Sweet baby, 0.8. So these people just load, they had the game. They either never really played it or they loaded it up for a second so they could write a review just to say how they hate sweet baby, right? Just review bombing it just for no reason. Not because the game is bad, but because they hate sweet baby ink. So they turned so they turned Sable from very from very positive 86 down to mixed 69 all because they hate all because they hate Sweet Baby just tanking a game and and something somebody like worked a long time on what in the world did Sweet Baby do here that's that's so that's so wrong if what you actually don't like is the heavy-handed nature of this that and the third how in the world can you play 0.2% of a game how can you how can you play 20% of an hour like 10, 10 minutes in a video game and then find out the sweet baby wokeness. And how do you do that? How do you do it? You don't, you don't, you just hate these people. Be honest. That's how ham fisted it was. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. You got me. You're right. It was super ham fisted that you were able to, you were able to sniff the wokeness in, um, in 20 seconds right after you loaded the game. Like as soon as you load up the game um, to, to start playing, you have to shoot a white person in the head and then you're able to play the game. It really sucks. You know, it's a terrible world that we live in. I'm going to be honest with you. And wokeness and wokeness is at fault. Wokeness is always at fault. I want to bring something up this because this one was kind of funny. OK, because things are getting bad, real bad on this one. Anyways, with all this going on, it's blossomed into an entirely new campaign of anti-wokeness that was going around. Uh, it led to this again, like this video. I'm tired of woke video games. There's a lot of videos like this. They just keep posting videos like this over and over and over again. I mean, we watched one recently where there was where there was just a guy who was completely who was just complaining, complaining about how woke video games are and how terrible they are. And now there's too many uh, and how there's grooming going on in games, even because there's trans flags places. There's pride flags. They talk about how black people shouldn't be discriminated against all this type of stuff. It's always sad, Mario. It is always sad. He's <laughs> there's a black character in my media. I like, oh, they made it woke. The liberals, not the liberals do. Fuck. How, how am I going to recover from this one? The answer is you don't. You don't recover from this one. You'll never recover from this one. All right. And you know what? I want to I want to dig into these patterns. OK, I want to I want to see some of these patterns. I want to see if I can find any of these patterns, because the, what I'm seeing right now is this like on Sable, how they were review bombing Sable. 
right? Sweet baby, sweet baby. All of these reviews, sweet baby. All of these reviews go woke, go broke. And you see them all like, and you know that this is like a massive campaign because it's not just people making the comments. It's people then making the comments, then going to the comment section to hype up these reviews specifically, right? 22 found this helpful. 36, right? 30, 96, 91, 89, 45, 889, not worth the price. Just out of nowhere. Just out of nowhere. None of these people really play the game. They don't care about the game like this. They want to punish this game studio for working with a company that they don't like. That's what it is. This is it, it is actually cancel culture in this one. This is the this is actually the only time that I genuinely see real cancel culture is when conservatives and, and anti wokeites or whatever do this type of stuff. Do you need to buy the game to leave a review? I actually don't know. I've never left a review on Steam before. I have no clue. I have never attempted to leave a review in my entire life. So maybe, maybe not. I, 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 I don't know. I have no clue. You do? Yeah, you can just buy. What, but what you can do is buy the game, leave a review and then refund it. So they don't they don't really have to buy the game because you have two weeks and two hours to be able to refund uh, refund the game. OK, I want to know, do you think that any of them are going to explain what this pattern is that they don't like? OK. Because in the comment section of the author who wrote the who wrote this Wired article for Gamergate 2, the Sweet Baby Ink thing, uh, they wrote that the the guy said that he he found a pattern. We saw him talk about that, right? What if the and he was like and he was like, oh, I saw diversity and stuff, and it's like work broke products and their virtue signaling and stuff. And they said, what if the new what if the new patterns are so obvious that they're easy to easy to detect from gameplay vids or trailers? Okay, like what? What is it? Can they explain? Yeah, good point. What if racists have a superficial and irrational understanding of the other and howl in fear of games simply depicting a character as something other than a straight white male? Bruh, you're seeing racism in this. You see racism in everything and voila, you're you're the racist. Okay, where's where's the racism? I want to see it. Just the sad little white supremacist incel. Oh, he's getting cooked. Oh no, I'm in line to ride the silver. Wait, I'm in line for the for a ride at Silver Dollar City with my family. Okay, wait a second. Let's see. Let's see if they ever got off the ride at Silver Dollar City. Did they ever respond? Nope. He just nope. He just called him red and then never responded again. Okay, sounds about sounds about right. Okay, we didn't get the information there. We didn't get the information there. Maybe. Maybe in the next, maybe in the next comment, we'll figure out what the pattern is, okay? Because they're, they're, they're saying that the patterns are real. One of these people going to catch on that none of these people actually play video games. We're going to, I want to highlight this one, okay? Because this one is cooking right now, and we're going to touch on this in a second. The guy played 124 distinct games last year. Just because he didn't want to play garbage games doesn't mean that he doesn't play games. I play games every single day. I haven't touched a single game on the SBID list because they're all equally full of shit that I don't want in my games. What do you mean? Citation needed. A poorly edited screenshot. I've never seen. Actually, I've never. Dude, it's the same screenshot again. And if you're it's the same screen, it's the same illegible screenshot again. Do I don't believe that these people actually know what they know. I don't I don't believe that they know what's in the screenshot. I don't believe that they know what's in this screenshot. I saw somebody trying to gaslight another person in, in the comment section saying that I'm going to need you to give me a better screenshot because these are illegible. Chat, can you read this? Can anybody here read um, deep fried JPEG? I got anybody. Uh, <laughs> I got anybody ver well versed in deep fried JPEG. His shit is ass. I can't read this, man. I can't read this, man. It seems like he has played at least a couple games before in his life. Good for him. Bro can't read his straight pixels. Hey, what does it say on my account? How many games have I played? I don't know. I'm not like a Steam power user or anything, so. Oh, I've played more games than him. Wait, I'm a better gamer than him. What the hell? You see that? 124? And his ass is a curator? I played more games than him. I'm a better gamer. I'm more of a gamer than him. F this guy. What the f Brazilian ass. Get the f out of here. Get the hell out of here, man. 
Anyways, okay, this 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 wasn't answering the question about how many games they've played. I'm not sure. This one doesn't help. Nope. Still, there there was another one. There was there was no explanation of what was going on, of what the patterns were. I'm sure he wouldn't like us noticing a pattern. What's the pattern? What I want to know. What's the pattern? What's the pattern? What's the pattern? I gotta see. Wasn't God of War Ragnarok fairly well received? It was very well received, actually. It was very well received. I, I barely saw anybody talking poorly about that game at all. It was a big step down from the first one when everybody thought it was going to be even better. A big step down? Was it, though? <laughs> God of War Ragnarok, 94% on Metacritic, 80, uh, 8.1, 8.1 user score review, okay? And now, and the only, and and the only negative reviews uh, as of recent is zero. The racist at Sweet Baby Inc worked on this game, so it's a big fat zero for me. <laughs> okay, all right, buddy. Okay, yeah, God of War and God of War Ragnarok got the same. It, it seemed like they got the same exact scores. Ninety four, ninety four. Okay, but apparently it's a big step down. It's a big step down because it's woke now, okay? It's so woke. I do I've gotta see, I've gotta see what the pattern is, man. You you think somebody has what the pattern is in here? Do you think like one person? <laughs> somebody said he was a Bolsonaro voter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no, don't cook him like that. Oh, he fell to his knees when Bolsonaro got kicked out of office. Oh nah, dude. Don't do the don't do the Brazilian guy like that. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. See, there was there was all that. There was all that. And that was that was that was pretty interesting. But this actually continued on. If you thought it stopped there, boy howdy, do I have boy howdy, do I have something terrible for you? If you thought that was bad, it gets worse. It gets so much worse. You know why? Because it got picked up by Elon Musk and Matt Walsh. And then things really spiraled out of control. So this this big argument or this big issue going on with like wokeness in video games has been has been in the thrust of creators and influencers for a long time. I think those people are some of the biggest people helping push this type of stuff and how this type of stuff disseminates uh, to so many people. How like a lot of people get their gaming content. Uh, that they watch on YouTube from a lot of these types of creators who have these same type of views on like wokeness in games or whatever and, and all this type of stuff. But with that being said, it's now gotten to the point where other people are starting to pick up with it who aren't necessarily in that area of expertise, okay? And that is Elon Musk and Matt Walsh. But before I... Ooh, do I want to get... No. It's Elon... <laughs> these two, okay? So let me tell you something. Walshy released a video, all right? The, the radical wokeness of the video game industry where he totally epically owns the radical wokeness in the video game industry or whatever, okay? Um, let, let's just look at a little bit of it because you know it's going to be fun. So here's a statistic that, at least if you were born at any point prior to the 1990s, might be hard to believe. By revenue, the gaming industry is bigger than both the movie industry and the music industry combined. And for the past several years, it hasn't been especially close. The difference is consistently more than $100 billion per year. So video games are a massive market, one that's mostly targeted at young people, of course. But despite those numbers, for the most part, the games industry has avoided mainstream scrutiny. You'll see far more discussion about, say, Sidney Sweeney or Taylor Swift than you'll ever see about prominent video game voice actors and directors who pretty much no one knows anything about. Everyone's heard of Lionsgate or Paramount, but almost no one's heard of studios like Don't Nod Entertainment, for example. And that's significant because... These no-name studios are behind the single most coordinated effort to indoctrinate millions of children through entertainment that's ever occurred in this country. <laughs> Genuinely crazy. It's, and it's really funny. Um, so you may be wondering to yourself, okay, why is he talking about this? I'm, I, was, I thought the same thing. Why, am, why is he talking about this? He's not talking about it because he cares about games. He talks about it because he doesn't like wokeness. All right. Because he hates the left. He hates, my, he, like, he hates minorities. He hates diversity, all this type of stuff. Okay. That's what he doesn't like. He just happens to have a way to talk about it through video games that he thinks is, is going to be popular now. And I agree with him, actually, in so far as a lot of these voice actors and people who make such incredible interactive art, which is which is so much different, which is such a different and more. 
I think a more difficult medium to work in. I think it's easier to make a good movie than it is to make a good game. The reason why is because a good movie, you just sit there and watch it. A good game, you interact with it. You can see its flaws. You can break it. You can't break a movie. You can't, you can't break a movie. What are you talking about? You can do something in a game to break it, to change it, to make it your own by the way that you play it. You can't change a movie. You, you pop it in and you press the play button and it plays every single time. It's the exact same every single time you play it. And it's not the same with a video game because every single time you play it, it can be different based on how you play that game. That's something incredibly different. But the video game industry just isn't treated as seriously as a lot of these other as like Hollywood and other forms of art and, and like high art as well. It's just not treated in the same way. And given the same scrutiny and given the same reverence, I think a lot of the reason is because of the video game of, of the gamers themselves. A lot of the gamers, they say a lot of the things like video games are an escape. They're just an escapism. Oh, they're just supposed to be fun. Well, how are you going to be treated? How, how is it supposed to be treated seriously when it's just a fun, silly, garbage, whatever thing that isn't supposed to be taken seriously or anything? How is it supposed to be taken? How do you want it to be taken seriously and not be serious at the same time? How is it just supposed to be something that makes you stop thinking about your bitch wife and how you have to go back to your job as being a being a line cook at um, Golden Corral tomorrow while also being a well also being like a super serious medium to convey thoughts emotions and feelings through an interactive format that you can't get in any other piece of mainstream media like how are you do, how do you like quantify those two things and the answer is you don't you don't they just don't really care about it like that what they do what what at the end of the day they just hate wokeness wokeness whatever that means they hate the idea of feeling lectured to they hate the idea of things that they recognize as politics in their games and so they just turn off to it they don't like it they feel like somebody's trying to tell them something so they don't like it right um and that's just kind of it uh he goes on a little bit longer but we, we won't be watching all of this i promise you uh and and then this watch gonna tell the police you kidnapped me nice try but i know who you are and what you did in seattle I saw in the paper maybe i should call ice to make sure you're a citizen you hillbilly i'm american <clears throat> watch it punk whatever Going to jail for this. Pretty sure the local police will vouch for me over a thug like you. Where's my brother? Wish I knew. Little sh took off. I'll find him. Don't worry. If you touch him, you think I hurt a little boy? Guess you didn't have any second thoughts about leading him out in the middle of nowhere, though. That's real safe for a little kid. If he's lucky, he won't end up like his criminal big brother. Just let me go, please. You're the reason we need to build that wall. You hold tight. Now, I guess I lied. I said that it was mercifully short, but that felt like uh, three hours long. And I will say also that, you know, this is um, neither here nor there. Or maybe it's not. But, you know, when I obviously I don't pay much attention to the games. When I started looking into the story we're talking about now and watching some of these videos, I was like, I, I sort of expected the, the, the graphics, and just the overall quality to be better now. Um, and then, then, it, then it is because really low quality all around. But really low quality all around. Dude, I'd like to see you make something not garbage for once in your entire life. So something. Oh, the quality is really bad. OK, dude, what the fuck are you talking? <laughs> Ever heard of? I, I was going to be like, ever heard of something stylized? And no, he hasn't. He hasn't heard of anything stylized. Of course, he's a conservative. The only type of art that he, the only type of art that he respects is like Nazi salutes. <laughs> so these people would say this type of stuff was like super heavy handed. I don't think so. That like That's, that's pretty real. And I know some people would be like, that's not, that's not real. That's not real. That that's made up by the wokes and the progressives to make people look at. That's not real. Here, let me pull something up for you real quick. Okay. Let me pull. Some, let me pull. Some, let me pull up something for you, real quick, because this was this was Life is Strange too. Was that right? That that was uh, that was Life is Strange too, and that was before that. That was it was a pretty it was pretty ahead of its time. Where is this article? No, where is this? What happened is is that Elon Musk and other conservatives on Twitter were basically trying to find out the guys who they who allegedly attacked migrants. Sorry, who 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 they called illegal immigrants who allegedly attacked police officers in New York City. What happened is that afterwards it came out that the one of the people who they said attacked um, the police officers were not actually that guy. For one, was not actually one of the guys who was who was then who through a lot of their efforts was apprehended by police, but then later released. And he was like flipping the bird to um. He was throwing up his middle fingers to the camera and everybody, okay? 
Elon and other the, and the other conservatives hated the idea of him being let go, but they kind of but they completely f***ed up because not only did he not attack the police, he also wasn't an illegal immigrant. He wasn't a migrant at all. He was a guy born in the United States. He just looked Mexican to them. So they called him so they called him a migrant mi violent migrant who needed to be put down by the police. So that claim that was just made there in Life is Strange is so real. It's so real. It actually just happened. It just happened that we need to build that border wall. This is all your fault, filthy migrant. They just, they literally just did this. Okay, moving on. I want to hear a little bit more from this. He says, uh, we need to build a wall. Uh, that's according to the white racist kidnapping the innocent Hispanic boy. And this is a game that if Wikipedia is to be believed received generally positive reviews upon release, critics praised the story. So we can conclude that the bar is incredibly low in this entire industry. All the developers have to do is beat their audience over the head with rote left-wing propaganda. And yeah, this just this literally just happened, though. And this literally just happened, though. Elon, Elon, and them were literally just doing this to an to an innocent migrant and called and asked and uh, and got angry when they got when he got exonerated for not doing anything wrong when they called him an, uh, an illegal looking to destroy the country. Yeah, just happened last month. And their game will be well reviewed and well received. The more recent game, Suicide Squad, is another prominent example. They decided to write a story. Oh, this might be it. Oh, yeah. This isn't the article specifically that I was looking for, but there, there was another one. The Elon wrongly suggests NYC uh, migrant jo Joan Bo Boda okay, uh, was set free and given a free ticket to California after beating up police officers in Times Square. Yeah, that was the claim that Elon made. That he was that he beat up cops in Times Square and then he, illegals beat up American police officers in Times Square. Get out, uh, get out of jail free. And instead of being deported, are given free tickets to California. Why? <laughs> why? Yeah, why indeed? That, that's a that's a good question, buddy. That's a good question. Oh, that issue. Yeah. Yeah, this one. Investigation had revealed that. This person, this person, not, 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 not Joe, Joanne, not Joanne is the, is the individual described in this complaint wearing a black and white jacket with pink shoes committed the assault. We therefore are moving to dismiss the, uh, the complaint against Joanne. Uh, to be clear, this person is completely innocent of any crime whatsoever. He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything, man. And then Elon afterwards, he went on the defensive because I'm raising concerns about the flood of unvetted immigrants overwhelming American cities. Uh, the press will often characterize me as anti-immigrant, but I'm a migrant myself, brother. Come on. Why? <laughs> Why? Why would they do this? Why would they do this thing that I completely made up? Please. Many of them echoed vote Trump if you want this to stop. It actually just it like it lit this just happened. This story just happened. And they're going and he's going to sit here and be like, I can't believe the radical wokes would ever try and write something like this. It just happened. Dude, the life is strange. People have the same gift of prophecy that that the Simpsons writers have. Anyways, with this being said, you would imagine that this uh that this uh musk guy sorry that you would imagine that this matt walsh guy would get a lot of support and he did in some ways he got support from the the owner of the website himself video games need to get rid of the woke bs getting lectured with tedious propaganda is not why people play games so true but clicking back on this the reception in this is a little bit different than what you might expect from what i've seen okay you've been allegedly trash talking video games this whole time can you please explain why you suddenly care now this is his wife asking him to answer his dms because she wants to talk to him oh the comment section on this changed wait one moment the comment section on this changed a little bit dude hope oh, oh you know why oh you know why it changed because elon did that thing where all the all the blue text all the blue checks go to the top yeah, all the blue checks go to the top now so all of them so all the other comments are hidden. Kringe. Blue check apocalypse. It really do it. Have you clicked on a really big tweet recently and just looked at the comment section? Because I'm telling you, it's it's getting bad. It's just all bots. 
Is he being cooked? Yes. It was under there, but now a lot of the but now a lot of the comments cooking him are a little gone. But there's still some pretty big ones. Sit down and stop telling creators what to do. Stop trying to be a dictator. You're really turning into a Karen, Elon. Let people judge of what they want to buy or not buy. There was this and also comments on Matt Walsh not being pro video game. So here's the thing, okay? He's jumping on this because he just hates video games. Not because so he's jumping on this because he hates wokeness, not because he likes video games. He hates video games and he dislikes gamers. All of the Daily Wire do this, okay? Candace Owens said that as a rule, video games are a huge waste of time, especially as an adult. And it's and it's just and it's just like a bad thing to do. Matt Walsh actually wrote an article for the day. He wrote an article for the Daily Wire. Actually, stop pretending violent video games are harmless just because you like playing them. He wrote this one uh, for the Daily Wire himself with his own two hands. He wrote this one. He hates video games. Actually, he o he always has. And they're starting and they're starting to come down on him. Listen. You don't you don't fuck with them in their games, okay? You can't fuck with them in their games. These guys, they this game and shit gets real serious around here, and they're gonna prove it to you, okay? Not only were they mad at him because he's someone who hasn't played games before, and you get in genuinely insane conservative tweets like this. Matt Walsh complaining about wokeness in a video game is like a gay man complaining about breast implants. Genuinely an unhinged and illegible statement to someone who isn't like a raging homophobe. I actually don't. It took me a little while to understand what this means. But I th I think what he's trying to say. Is that someone in the comment section said, but is he wrong? He responded with saying, Dunno, let's ask what he thinks of adults who enjoy video games as a hobby, which is true. He hates them. Or most hobbies for that matter. Matt is nobody's ally, but Matt. Whoosh. Sheesh. Sheesh. My goodness. Matt is a crypto Mormon. Never heard that term in my life. It's so wild. <laughs> uh, his characterization was wrong because they aren't just for kids, but the crux was spot on. And it started to get a little bit worse for him, too. I want to take a look at this over here because this one, this one was starting to get a little bit funny. All right. This one's starting to get a little bit funny because he's he made this deadly quote is that the video game industry without a lot of fanfare has transformed into a tool of both propaganda and surveillance. It's an effective way to indoctrinate children precisely because it hasn't received much attention and also because children spend many of them hundreds of hours a year. And that might be an undercount, a severe undercount uh, 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 with this kind of content. So it should get it our, get a lot of our attention. And now finally, that attention is here. And it's yet another reason to keep these games as far away from your children as possible. And if you do that, games journalists, literally the lowest form of journalists on the planet, will accuse you of harassment. And that's exactly how you'll know that you're doing the right thing. Lowest form of journalists. I think the, actually, I think the lowest form of journalists is YouTuber, personally. That's just me, though. Uh, Matt Walsh is the first person to highlight wokeness in video games industry. Thanks for highlighting the this important issue, Matt. Hopefully people finally start talking about it and they're back and forth. They're getting mad. I get your point, but I'd rather welcome him to the party and encourage him to talk about it more. By the way, quote tweet response wasn't to be directed at you. Don't, I'm not yelling at you, buddy. Truly, he is the king of gamers. Where would we be without him? Dude is an insufferable piece of shit. Why, why are y'all mad at people like Matt finally uh, talking about something they normally don't cover? Because he has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. And his answer is for everybody to walk away from video games, which is the which is the most stupid, we'll say. Take ever. Take back video games from these freaks. That's the answer. Guys, we got to reclaim video games. We got to make video games cool and masculine and... So epic with big titties again, dude. I've never seen a big tit in a game before after the woke guides took over, man.
Video games are bad and should be avoided isn't new. Yeah, that's yeah. I mean, that's not surprising, but yeah. He shared many experiences of it. He was saying overall people were ignoring it, which is true. Ignoring what? Everybody's like, everybody won't talk about the super serious issue of like diversity in our video games. <laughs> Dude. Dude, what the, what the fuck are you talking about? It is true that Matt Walsh played GTA 5 for the first time and he hated it because he hates video games and, and, and gamers as well. But this is something that I've that I've always thought has been super funny. I mean, Lauren Chen is in here. Be nice to Matt. That's the inventor of video games you're talking about. I move to never have Walsh be the spokesperson for gamers. He respects us less than the journalists do. Oh, no. He's lower than a journo now? Because these people hate game journalists. These people are, like, seethe when they hear about the idea of somebody writing, <laughs> writing articles for journalists. They've just, like condition themselves to think that anybody who likes journal who likes games enough to write about them is are just like sick freaks but they love youtubers and this is where they get a lot of their talking points from because the youtubers are cool and and epic and down to earth and just like them uh the game journos are cold and evil and calculating and are plotting their downfall 24 7 you know you know how it is you know how it is does he think it's demonic too? Probably. I, w I wouldn't doubt that he thinks that video games are demonic, you know? I would not doubt that he thinks video games are demonic. Here's the thing that I always thought was super funny about this. The gamer conservative pipeline, okay? The gamer conservative pipeline. Because I'm telling you this right now that I think the most, the most marginalized community in the conservative party, they're not the black ones, okay? They, they get hyped up and then put in the forefront. They're not the women. I promise you they're not, okay? They're not, they're not, they're not. You know what they are? Gamer conservatives, all right? I'm talking about people like geeks and gamers, that like synthetic man guy, these guys, all these types of people, these are the most marginalized uh, uh, types of people in this party because of the one very specific reason. Party ideology, just the general, like, just the general like way people talk about these types of things, okay? Here's why, okay? Truly the most oppressed minority. They really are, all right? The reason is because conservatives hate them and they hate their hobby and they hate their games, all right? They hate everything that they like. I have this little mango shelf. I have this shelf of Japanese comic books right here. Matt Walsh called these demonic a couple of week, a, a couple of months ago. Straight up, verbatim, demonic all right Dem demons demons okay demons demons crawl out of demons crawl out of the manga all right they they prowl at night and they eat and they eat your shredded cheese from your from your kitchen that's why you're always out of cheese that's the real reason okay that's the real reason color me shocked he hates this type of stuff. He hates all this type of stuff. He's he's talked about constantly how video games are terrible. Like Candace Owens came out to say video games are a complete waste of time. This guy would this guy would think that um uh the uh, the Yakuza games are just like sick sick freaky twisted garbage that nobody should ever play. And I'm going to tell you this right now, the Yakuza games have the same exact type of language and wording that things like Life is Strange and these other games do especially when it pertains to minorities there's a trans character in one of the newer i'm sorry in one of the older yakuza games and they just had a candid moment where they talked about where they talked about being trans and all this type of stuff and the main character hype hype the girl up and that's and this is something that you just don't get this is something that you don't get that much in in modern in modern types of games even with this whole wokeness trend, you really don't get stuff like that very often. In, in the game where it's like maimed by a trans person, all right, Celeste, which is a really highly coveted precision platforming game. Even in Celeste, there's there's no like, there's no like, Maybelline. How does it feel to have a dick? Like there's no there's no shit like that. Okay, there's none of that in that game. Okay, it's it's more heavy handed than even games that are maimed by trans people, made by trans people. I'm telling you, they pick and choose. I really don't think they care about this that much. I, it's very hard for me to believe that they, that any of them care about this that much, but, but it's funny to see these type of, type of people together because they genuinely, 
hate them. Conservatives have been trying to get ba games banned forever, from calling Pokemon like pocket demons to uh, trying to get GTA itself canceled. And then these people grow up in that environment, getting mad at all the um, uh, getting mad at all the adults, trying to tell them that games are terrible, only to get grow up and be like, "Wait, games are terrible, but it's because of all this wokeness and not because of all the violence." They just think the same way as those like boomer loser uh, parents, but just slightly differently. The the tune changed just ever so slightly about why they think all these games are bad. When and in all actuality, they're fine. They're fine. They're such a there's such a nothing. There's such a nothing burger. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. And people are people are picking up on it too. People are picking up on it too. So Matt Walsh is getting in, uh, is getting on the video games, uh, is getting on the video games thing when there's political capital to be made, despite his years long history of pissing and moaning about violent vidya. This is this really isn't the guy we need to be trusting. We can't be trusting this guy, right? We can't trust this guy. We can't trust him. <laughs> oh, he's a fake ally. We got to purge the movement, everyone. This cost them the last culture war, too. It is very true. The last Gamergate did help cost them the last big culture war push that they tried to do, too. And so it seems like they're trying to do that again. I really don't think it's going to get necessarily that far. The reason is because conservatives move so fast these days when it comes to the next new thing. You know that meme that they like to mess around with uh, when they realize that current events are a thing? They, they do that, but just like on a way bigger scale. They're going to jump to something new in like a week. They're going to jump to something new pretty quick. And they already, and I think they already have been, uh, been shifting a lot. A lot of them have turned to, to start talking about Haiti as well. How the Haiti Haitians are subhumans who need to be. Uh, a lot of these people are talking about how Haitians are subhumans who need to be brought under like a, a larger company's dictatorial rule because they've proven they can't rule themselves after those same large companies breathe despair into their country ever since they got their freedom, right? Starting with France and then the U.S. and then Canada and England as well, right? Just destroying the country, but that's a little off topic from what we're talking about today. I will, I'm just saying that this is starting to get pretty funny with this type of stuff. Hard to give a fuck about Gamergate 2 when people on one side are flocking towards cry bully grievance monger game journos and their industry friends. And on the other side, they're flocking towards Matt Walsh, Elon Musk, and the million dollar bus guy in James Lindsay. Oof. Oof. The speed to which bloggers are calling a Steam list Gamergate 2 is unreal. So a reminder, uh, uh, it's an election year and GG, the subsequent culture war, was used as a rallying for both political parties after Bannon successfully uh, utilized it for Trump. Hope you like Astro successfully utilized it for Trump. I d uh, he said, uh, you, uh, Bannon successfully utilized the culture war for Trump. Maybe. I don't think it, I really don't think the culture war in Gamergate, like, was necessarily that much of what catapulted Donald Trump into, into relevancy. I think it was a lot more of pre, of, of like, preconditions of the Republican Party that was helping lead them uh, towards that. I mean, it definitely, it def I would say it helped, sure, but I, I wouldn't call it, like, a leading cause. I think, I think the whole idea of a lot of these people ever since Donald Trump got elected, they're like, never let your memes be dreams. He, Donald Trump's the first president that memed himself into the presidency. No, he wasn't. <laughs> I still, do you guys still remember that? The people who are like, Donald Trump, the first ever guy to meme himself into the president of the United States. Holy crap. Pepe's out, everyone. Yeah, nah, that shit, that shit did not happen. Boy, you are delusional. <laughs> Uh, boy, you are quite delusional. Yeah, remember that, right? Remember that people posting Pepe? Oh my gosh, Donald Trump is the Pepe president. Yeah, nah, I, I don't believe that shit happened. I don't believe that shit happened, okay? The real problem with, with games these days is, has a lot less to do with diversity hires or whatever. It has a lot more to do with, you know it, you hate it, live service, games as a service microtransactions, delayed delayed games, unfinished games, ballooning scope, all this type of stuff. That's the real problem with games right now. That's what's really going on right now. Shark 2024, so true.
Oh, and then there was like a, a big thread going back and forth. It was so funny. Matt Walsh does not give a toss about games and regularly trashes media like it uh, and anime because it goes against his narrow minded worldview. If he suddenly cares, he's only doing it to get views. He doesn't have to be a fan of games to care about this. Just like you don't have to be a, a female swim competition enthusiast to comment on the introduction of trans. A Who brought trans people into this discussion? They, uh, dude, they've got trans people on the mind. There's there's a little trans girl in, in thigh high socks on the couch, sipping tea, kicking her feet up in their brain, taking up all the space, living rent free. What is happening? How did this even get here, man? Why the hell does Matt Walsh actually care about any of this if he didn't care about video games? Because it's a it's a culture and he has to he has to exist in society with people who engage with it. It's completely normal behavior that you yourself must engage in it constantly. This is not normal behavior. This is completely normal behavior. This is not normal behavior. Oh, gamer, I'm begging you, seek therapy, gamer. <laughs> Spend the next $60 on a therapist interview and not a new AAA game. Gamer, take it. <laughs> gamer, go outside. Use the next $60, you're, my bad, $90, because that's what a game costs these days. My bad, $100, because the gold edition is the, is the real standard edition these days. All right, the next $100 you spend on the video game that you're going to pick up that your favorite gaming YouTuber told you was going to be totally epic and not ass, like Payday 3, okay? Next time that happens, okay? What I want you to do, what I want you to do is instead of spending that money, go out and like have a hobby outside of the house, and I think you can learn a little bit about what's normal, because this is not it. This is not it. If you tell a normal person that that there's a, there's a video game and in it, it talks about how migrants can get mistreated by people who don't like migrants. They're like, oh, OK. And these people start seething and crying about that idea. It's just weird. It's just weird behavior. I don't think you understand. Matt Walsh doesn't view games as culture. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Video games aren't culture to him. They're not culture. They're not art. They're not a way of expression. They're not any of these things. They're, they're toys for losers to him, okay? You would get, he would bully you. You, if you identify yourself as a gamer, he would, he would start praying for you, dude. You don't know what you're talking about. He, <laughs> if you introduce yourself as a gamer to this guy, he would be like, you need, you, you need help. He would say that you need to do something better with your life. Someone had to say it. He's the chosen one. He's the chosen one. It's true. It's just completely ridiculous to think that Matt to say like, oh, he's he's a, he's talking about the culture, man. No, he doesn't talk about the culture. He hates culture. He hates culture. He 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 hates this. He doesn't believe it's a part of it. Like it, it's an actual medium and culture. OK, but with this being said, there's one last little shtick on this. All right. There's one last little thing that I want to touch on. One last little meme. OK, one last little meme. And here it is. Here it is. Hot take. Boogie 2988. Video games are supposed to be fun, not lecture us about why being a white man is bad. Boss, I'm tired. I'm tired. What game lectures you about being white, about being, how, about how being a white man is bad? Can you tell me? What are you talking about? You fing dumbass. What are you even saying? The grifting is crazy on and 10,000 likes is genuinely one of the saddest things I've ever seen in my entire life. What do you what do you even mean? Is he baiting? Is he just baiting? Here's the thing. Some people would say this is baiting. Is it baiting? Maybe it's baiting. I don't know. But what I do know is that he genuine. He, there are people who genuinely 100 percent believe this. And who are 100% on his side when it comes to this type of stuff. Grifting to pay for a more East, East, East squirts and unbreasts. I see what I don't even know what that, I don't even know what that means. Hot take. I jack off my penis real good. Sometimes they kind of cooked him. I'm going to be honest with you. They kind of cooked him. So this, obviously he's getting cooked in the comment section here. Good friend of the stream, dead domain. I'll take one, one example of this happening, please. Good friend of the stream, the humanist report.
I would ask for an example of doing this, but everyone knows you're just blatantly engagement farming for reactionaries. Although this is actually, although this actually isn't the most craven thing you've done to stay relevant. So keep bashing yourself. Good friend of the stream, the serfs. Which video game does this? Can you please name one specific title? Good friend of the stream, beer person, actual New York Times journalist, the only good New York Times journalist. Name one game that does propaganda about how being a white man is bad. One, one video game, one. That's all we need. Chess, but it depends on which side you're on. Custard's, re the custard's revenge. Um, We Sports Resort. Someone said Donkey Kong Jr. if uh, Italians are white. Someone said Wolfenstein, but like, no, really. Some people actually think it's Wolfenstein. So there was this question. There, there was this, okay? 100% genuine question from me. What video game does this? And some people are going to, and this is where we get some actual answers. We finally get some answers from these people saying more than literally nothing. So here we go. Here we go. Here's some, life is strange too. Life is strange too. They spoke about racism being bad. Are you saying being racist is synonym with is being racist is a synonym for being white? Oh no. If I remember correctly, the only people put in the game that was racist or bad were white people. I have some bad news for this guy. But the most prominent and talked about racism is 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 white on minority racism in the country. And also, and okay. White equals racist confirmed, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that guy who was like, we should have built the wall, you dirty Mexican. Like, I mean, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah that, that happens. Literally happened not too long ago. Yep. Yep. Or the game bad where people don't consider black guy boss to be bad. The characters are acted stupid and got themselves into the situation. So life is strange is about people acting stupid and getting themselves into bad situations. I don't think you understand the game that you played. Or I guess maybe didn't play. I don't know. Most of them. <laughs> Bro said most of them. I'm black and I'm afraid the same white man bad. And, I, and I'm tired of the same white man bad trope. But it's more so movies than games. Is he talking about Avatar? Wait, are the people. Are, is he going to say that, a, that Avatar. The Avatar movie series. Is a white man bad movie series. <laughs> white man. White man bad. Blue man good. Is that what this really is at the end of the day? Holy heck, it might be. Media analysis, then you have concern. I'm crying. <laughs> Maybe, that's true. That's Crash Bandicoot, true. Nigga, have you played Flappy Bird? True. Holy, that you have yet to name a single one, brother. They're all asking you under your comment. Oh no, he went silent. He went silent. NBA 2K and don't even bring... <laughs> What? Russians aren't white. <laughs> Russians aren't white. Oh no, it's Mr. McRacist. Why are you running? Uh, he didn't. Dude, this happens every time you ask these people for one example and they say something completely nonsensical. Like, oh, a white guy was racist. And that's and, and that's white man bad. Or what do you play you play as two white characters? And life is strange. You have white friends and white life is strange who are pretty decent people too. Like one guy was racist and he happened to be white in Seattle. Wait, doesn't life is strange happen in Seattle? Isn't Seattle like 80% white or something? It's like the, it's like one of the whitest places on the, in the entire country. Just talking more about Wash, Washington, but instead of Seattle, but you know what I'm talking about. You have yet to name a single game. Why would so many believe it if it's not true? I don't know. Why do so many people think the earth is flat if it's not true? Dumbass. Because they because they've been told to. So real. Somebody told them to. Somebody told them that they should be upset. Somebody told them that they should be mad. And now they're mad. I I th I know these types of people hate this this answer, but it's the truest answer ever. Someone said you should be mad, and now they're mad. And now they're mad. I don't think they I don't think they could bring up like a real serious argument about this ever. I'd love to see. I'm I'm just so I'm I'm not just looking through this to like shit on these people. I'm also looking to see if there's like one genuine argument in here that makes any sense whatsoever. Just any sense. Cause I can believe there's like one one game, one 
open parentheses, one close parentheses out there that had like a, actually white people are evil. I can, I can imagine maybe one out there somewhere, somewhere, but I can't find one. I can't find one. Last of Us 2, question mark. I don't even think the word white is said that whole 20 hours of playtime. Better not find media. I better not find a media literacy post on your timeline. I'm seeing comments like this, but none are actually explaining why The Last of Us 2 had the message white people bad. Maybe the media literacy is uh, maybe your media literacy is the one in decline. Oh, no, nah, he's cooking them. They must talk about Joel dying, but that's just one dude. White character dies. Help, I'm oppressed. They are actually oppressed. They're, I don't know if anybody's been more oppressed than them. They didn't reply. Holy shit. It's all do. It's always this. And then they don't reply. They just they never reply. Words don't have to be said. <laughs> Can I see anti white message in a game where I play as two white women? Women are not men. OK. All right. The <laughs> dog whistles. The Last of Us 2 has anti white man dog whistles. <laughs> oh, no. Dog whistles? Dog whistles. They have... <laughs> what are the dog whistles you noticed? Please. Hello? Oh, no. He didn't respond. <laughs> oh, no. No, I see it. I see what's going on. They have the knowledge of why it's all white man bad. But here's the thing. They don't want to share it with us because then... then then we'll know how we're there. We're then they'll know how they're on to our case. OK, and then we're going to switch up and make them seem like they're crazy. So they don't want to tell us what the white man bad dog whistles are so they can just keep it to themselves. They have the secret knowledge that everybody needs to know about. But that everybody they need to tell people about it, but they can't give away the game. It's their secret sauce. Bro will never respond. He will never respond. I'm just I'm shooketh. None, as far as I can tell, this is more of a white grievance about being around, being in the gaming space since uh, the Gamergate days. Some of these people are really threatened by protagonists that aren't straight white males or games that don't exclusively cater to their worldview. Yeah, that's a, that's a really big thing, too. Catering to their worldview is a really big thing. Being challenged in ways that they weren't expecting and being challenged in ways that they don't they haven't heard before. Or, or in ways that they have heard before, but they just disagree with or don't like or have a bad taste in their mouth about. Or it, it, that's usually the problem that they have for this type of stuff. Did he say Super Mario 2? What, what is SM2? Does anyone know? The Last of Us 2 is an incredible example. Oh, do you mean Suicide Squad? How's The Last of Us 2 in a fantastic example? You haven't paid attention, it seems. No, dude. No, he's right. The white female protagonist go after each other's throats. Take revenge for white men. One of them shows is shown to be a saint. Hell, the doctor from the first game even turned white. Exactly my point. What? Huh? The white female protagonist goes after each other's throats to take revenge for white man. One of them is shown to be a saint. Hell, the doctor even came out, even turned out, uh, even turned white. I think he's joke. I think he's, I think he's clowning on him. <laughs> nice selfie. Suicide, suicide squad is, hates white men. They hate white men. It's not the fault of game developers with people who committed. What's ha <laughs> not one. Minecraft, new blood, goat simulator. Okay, you. I think there's not too many black people to beat up in a uh, in Goat Simulator, um, as far as I remember. So he's he might be cooking with that one. I'm a, I'm gonna be real. Wait, wait under here. Talking about Joel dying. Joel is killed for the original sin of being a white man, of being a white male. The allegory is expressed through the suffering he caused Abby. Also has partially abandoned her femininity to become like him, to destroy him, which repeats the cycle again. Abby just has muscles. Were they on? Anti-wokeness. It's a horrible drug. It's a horrible drug. It specifically, it, 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 it has um, a 
a really good chance of mostly targeting white people and it's a really strong drug and it does terrible it's a really strong disease and it does terrible things it starts to eat their brain from the inside out the madman thanks for the 500 bits I watched white white man die in a video game. This is a hate crime. It's actually worse than a hate crime. It might be genocide, even. He thought the game. It's something obvious to all people who possess media literacy. They have to be trolling. I can't believe you click send on this. <laughs> what did I just read? <laughs> Get him off the grill. <laughs> Get him off the grill. I'm begging you, get his ass out of here now. Never cook again. He's he's burning the shit, man. He's ruining it. He's ruining it. Oh no, I missed one more thing. I missed one more thing about these people calling Matt Walsh a parasite. A parasite to the gaming community as well. Fail. Oh, look at that. Holy, they hate this man. And he responded, I have to say I've been targeted for some extremely unreasonable black backlashes in the past. But this is probably one of the most ridiculous yet. This time people are mad I talked about the issue in the news. Apparently I have no right to discuss it because I'm not in the club. Truly the dumbest outrage I've ever encountered in my life. And man, that's really saying something. You know, the craziest thing to me about all this is that these gamers came out to be more angry at Matt Walsh for being mean to gaming than feminists came out against Matt Walsh for being a actual misogynist Fem feminist. Sorry, the JK Rowling style feminists like anti transphobe ge gender critical pro women feminists those guys those those guys were more on board with matt walsh than than these gamers are these these anti woke gamers i i'll give them one thing they're standing on business more than more, more than people who act who care who try to say that they fight for civil rights actually do these gamers stand on more business for their hobby than people who say they're fighting for civil rights I think this says a lot about society. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Man up, Matt. Oh, no. They're using the hell misogyny on him. Oh, no. He's he's woke. Oh, no. He's woke now, dude. Wait, this is so funny. They are fighting for civil. Yeah, they're fighting for the civil rights of the gamers. So true. Holy. Is that geeks and gamers? Holy crap. Video games are a unreasonable video games are a sacred cow in this country. And I'm tired of it. Our country is filled with adults who are obsessed with them. So we almost pretend insanely that there's nothing wrong with it or are disturbing about a child spending all day killing people in a virtual world. Of course, it's harmful to the child. It's harmful to anyone, adults included. It will automatically make a kid into a mass shooter. No. But nobody in the world ever made that claim. But it's but it's uh, it's still harming him. We need to face that fact. Ian Ian here, resident gagger. <laughs> Screw them! They're idiots who accomplish nothing. You're so cool, Matt. <laughs> uh, for people who are do buying the poor me bile, Matt is spewing <gasps> bile titan. Sheesh! All right. Well. What can I say? Well, there it is. I hope you guys learned about how anti-white and uh, anti-man the video game industry is. And I hope you spend some time learning about how you can be better to your local white man because he needs your support right now in a world crashing around his piggly wigglies. He needs that support. He needs your help. <laughs> um, Hug a white man today, okay? He needs it. Very educational. I hope you all learned something today. I hope you all learn a little shum shum. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.